like, I just feel like people need to stop assuming that every black girl know how to twerk because we don't, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Everything Alex, where nothing but Alex goes on here. Um, I address, I'm gonna just give you a content disclaimer. I talk about things and I'm gonna say my opinion at the end of the day, so, like, this is my, the type of atmosphere I want my channel to have is an opinionated atmosphere. Like, you can, you can feel how you want, baby. You, you honest to God can. But if you're allowed to, that means I'm allowed to. So, I don't want anybody to get offended by this video. Um, if you do get offended, then obviously the shoe fits. And that ain't my fault. You better change your shoe size. I don't know what you can do at this point. Just change your point of view. That's all you can do. But... Without further ado, let's get into the video. With being black, I feel like any type of like hairstyle you have in, everyone assumes that it's not your real hair. Now, let me break it down. I'm going to break it down to y'all. Now, okay. You know, it may, in context, it may not be my real hair. As in, it may have not grown from the roots of my head. But, um, the, the, I feel like... If I pay for it, baby, it's my real hair. The same way, if you want to be technical, these little iPhones and your Androids, all these um, devices that we pay for, we say they are. We say that they belong to us. Okay? We I don't sit up here. Oh, you need to take your take your little Apple Android back to China because they don't belong to you. But what you gonna say? You gonna say you pay for it. So that's the same way as I pay for this. I spent my little four hundred dollars on this, baby. It belonged to me. It belonged to me, even though I, I it didn't originate with me. It's mine now. So that's all that matters. And I just like we always have to go through the like black girls always have to go through. Oh, your hair is so soft, like honey. Like back up, back up. You do not have to touch my hair to admire my hair. Like, I'm I'm sorry that I can't wake up in the morning and just be all luxurious and flowy. I got to get a flat iron to the roots. I got to lay the edges. The BBs got to be combed out. Like, I just, we can't. I'm sorry, okay? I feel like black girls are the only race that have to deal with, oh, like, they same race, another black boy. Telling you, oh, I don't date black girls, but baby, you black. And your mama black, in case you didn't know. And your daddy black. So, who, like, how do you have the right, like, why are you even saying, oh, I don't date black girls? Like, I feel like in the black community, only, only we make up stuff like that. Oh, I can't date black girls. They too ratchet. But you realize now, on the news, they be showing all these ratchet Hispanics, ratchet white people. Like, anybody could be ratchet. Just because I'm black, don't assume that I'm ratchet. Just because I, <laughs> I ain't going to take, take no type of BS from you does not mean that I'm ratchet, okay? It just means that I can hold myself to a high standard. And I'm going to get the job done, baby. Like... You not about to hold me back. You you are not about to downplay my mindset just to for me to be with you. If if you understand what I'm saying. Like, I just don't understand why black boys just feel oh I don't I don't date black girls. Okay, and I don't date black boys, okay? Especially ones that the only sin is the only the only thing they could text you is what you doing. W Y D. What is that? Okay. How about you talk about that? How about you fix yourself before you want to try to? Oh, I don't date black girls. Like that really gets on my nerves. <laughs> like I know I'm not the only one that has experienced that, but it's just slow your roll, baby. Slow your roll, cause ain't nobody want you to begin with. Okay. And probably these Hispanics don't want you, cause y'all no good anyways. Okay. <laughs> Next thing is now. Don't shoot me now. But I don't necessarily have a problem with interracial, interracial dating at all. But I just feel like all the all the good black men that all live, and it only is like in the two percentile of this, the good black men that are left, I feel like they are with another race. Like 
for the simple fact that boys try to act like, oh, I don't, I can't date a black girl. Or it's so many negative connotations behind being a black girl. I feel like that's why we don't get shown no love. And then all the good black men, they scurrying on off. They just leaving, leaving like, dang, baby, I, I'm going to marry me a black man. I am. And I'm going to show y'all that black love do exist. Like, and it's, it's not even about me like, oh, ew, I'm racist because I'm not racist. I can tell you when I was in the fifth grade, nah, I used to like this white boy. His name was Cody. And I thought he was so cute. But, yeah. I mean, I always wanted to date a white boy. It just never happened. Maybe because they thought I was too ratchet. But but in my like in my younger days I never used to talk anyway, so but I just feel like all the good black men that are love, they just they not even they don't even wanna ble be with black women. So I feel like as a we, we got we gotta work on that. We got a lot of stuff to work on. Next would be why is it that when as soon as a black girl gets some education in her, you know, as soon as she starts speaking with an extensive vocabulary, all of a sudden she acting white. Now, ain't nothing wrong with being intelligent. We can't all stay at the bottom. It's just not going to happen, baby. Like, I'm not going to stay at the bottom. Like, y'all try to put black girls... Y'all try to, people in general, y'all just try to put everybody in a box and only say, oh, you can go up this far or you can go this far out. Like, no, I feel like there is not no color onto how I speak. I'm speaking intelligent. I mean, maybe if you prop open a dictionary once or twice, you could be using these same words and y'all don't say nothing to T.I. when he be sitting up here saying epileptic and stuff like that like now he be making up stuff <laughs> just like but y'all don't say nothing to T.I. when he do it so you tell me why is it a problem when a black girl want to expand her horizons and want to speak intelligent for once like we all can't be stupid now we all can't just dumb down the context you need to come up to our level get on our level okay simple as that one more thing one more thing I feel like being black you have to, like, a black girl, we always, like, with the nappy hair, we got to worry about the kitchen. Make sure your kitchen looking good. And in black ter in black terminology, the, when people are referencing to, oh, your kitchen back there, they are talking about your hair, baby. Those um little BBs in the back, no, not your baby hair. Because baby hair is smooth. The BBs are the ones curled up. And when you stick your finger through it and it pop like a little firecracker, like you got the 4th of July displaying on the back of your neck, that's BBs. And you got to, being a black girl, you got to make sure your kitchen combed out. You got to make sure you well groomed. Because at the end of the day, eyes are always on you, okay? They're always on you. Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys appreciated my rant. Um, I do want to say... Um, I do enjoy being black. I love being black because I feel like I get to exceed in all the barriers that people have set up for me. Like, meaning that I can go to any school I want to go to. I can work anywhere I want to work at. I can do whatever I want to do because people have put so many barriers, like, so much barriers on, like, black girls, even black people in general, to the point where... Some of us just feel like we got to stay in the bottom. But, baby, I'm here to tell you now. Tell you now. Everything Alex, Alexandria Bornham will not, will not be in the bottom. I started there, but I'm on the rise, baby. I'm on the rise. But I just want to encourage all black girls to just love the skin you in, baby. Because you know what we don't have to do? We don't have to tan, okay? We do not have to tan. Hmm. And we also, when we do buy our little hair, we don't have to do our hair every morning. If I wanted to walk up and put a hat on, huh, I'm good. Put it to the back, I'm good. We look good in almost every color. You see how I'm rocking? Huh. Like, rocking the olive over here. We look good in almost every color. We got the curves. We got the hips. We can dance. Like, well, at least the most of us, not all of us. 
But I just want you to know there's so many benefits about being black. It's so many benefits about being yourself. I'm not saying that, oh, black is the superior race. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, as a minority, you just got to uplift yourself and, you know, be happy about the skin you in, baby. Because ain't no one going to do it better than you going to do it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. but make sure you do like comment and subscribe if you guys have anything that you want me to talk about just i'll talk about it because i love i love to talk y'all don't understand i love to talk love to get my opinion and i'm just gonna be completely honest you know so make sure you like comment and subscribe do all that be low make sure you stay active on my channel because I, I like to talk, like I said. Thank you. Y'all have a nice day. Fuck it, bomb on my enemy.